began to write this textbook about two years and a half ago. Uh, I was hired to work as a lecturer in the School of Liberal Arts in Mefaluang University in Chiang Rai, in the north of Thailand, about three years ago. And shortly thereafter, I was uh, given a course to teach, which is uh, short stories and novels. It is an introduction to uh, narrative uh, texts uh, for English major students in the third year. And at that time, I was quite concerned by the fact that uh, I knew that my students didn't have a very uh, uh, solid or in-depth uh, background in uh, literary studies, uh, unlike my previous uh, students in, uh, in, in when I was working as a lecturer in uh, literary theory in a Catalan university. So I, I was looking for a textbook that would allow me to um, provide an introduction to the, the, the fundamental concepts of uh, narratological theory without uh, bogging down students with too much theory, too much history of uh, controversies about uh, literary concepts and ideas, um, and therefore would be more engaging for my students, uh, knowing uh, what their background in uh, literary studies was. Uh, unfortunately, I could not find any textbook that would uh, fit that purpose, so I had to. Uh, I decided to write my own textbook, and that was how this uh, project started. Uh, I wrote the textbook before um, giving the course, and then I refined the textbook through my first semester of teaching the course, based on the feedback by students and also by my observations on on the the effects of the textbook on on the classes. Uh, where I saw that perhaps uh, some concepts were not clear enough, I expanded the book, where I thought that the more examples were needed, I added them, uh, where I, uh, I saw that perhaps uh, the exposition was too cumbersome or introduced too much detail, I uh, shortened that and so that I, I, I came up with a, a final version of the book, which is what I'm publishing now in uh, Open Book Publishers. So I think my book is uh, different from other textbooks in the market because it combines simplicity with rigor. Um, most textbooks on narratological theory are quite rigorous and they do a good job in presenting those technical concepts in, in a lot of depth and detail. But they assume that the student already has a background in literature, that they've been studying literature in middle school, high school, they've been reading texts, they've been analyzing, interpreting, uh, and so they're familiar with a lot of the concepts that uh, Western literary theory has been developing uh, throughout, uh, especially the last the 20th century. Uh, now, I could not make that assumption myself. My students didn't have that kind of background. So I had to create a textbook that was uh, rigorous, that, that presented those concepts in, in a precise and effective way, but at the same time that it was simple, that it was engaging, that it did not assume a lot of that uh, historical and, and, and uh, literary background. So I, I use a, a, an approach which is to introduce since the beginning of the textbook what I call the semiotic uh, model of narrative communication and I use that as a framework, as a skeleton uh, in order to introduce the different concepts that give sense to that model of communication step by step and I do it by using a lot of examples uh, drawn from many different uh, narrative texts in many different uh, examples of uh, novels and short stories both uh, popular and also uh, more um, high literary uh, examples. And I do that in order to, uh, to, to make the, the, the student uh, more comfortable in uh, understanding uh, and, and applying those concepts to the analysis of actual text. Of course, my textbook is not uh, a full course. It, it assumes that the, the, the instructor will uh, provide readings for the students to, uh, to actually apply those, those concepts uh, in the in-depth analysis and, and interpretation of, of uh, narrative text on their own. Uh, but it provides that skeleton in a way that it's, it's more engaging and it's also uh, 
perhaps more pleasing than other textbooks which are much more difficult for students who don't have that kind of background to follow. Well, uh, of course, the, the book, uh, I wrote it for my students uh, who came mostly from Thailand, but also from other Asian countries like uh, China, Japan, Korea, uh, Myanmar, Laos, Indonesia, etc. Um, but I think the book would be also useful for, other, for students in other, in other contexts, in other areas of the world, even Western students, uh, especially for those who are not pursuing uh, an education in, uh, in, uh, in literary studies. Uh, but just want to learn more about uh, narrative theory for their own interest or, or, or pleasure. Um, now, uh, in the case of Asia, I think that book, that this textbook is particularly useful because um, English and humanities studies are growing quite a lot because of the demographical and economic expansion of these countries. And at the same time, uh, there is a lack of... Um, of, of uh, literary background in, 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 the, in the high school curriculum uh, for many different reasons and I, I cannot get into the, the historical and political uh, you know, uh, background that explains this, uh, this fact. But uh, the thing is that uh, students get to college to study English majors or humanities majors without actually having uh, had the opportunity um, to read um, literary texts that we in the West consider as part of the canon and therefore part of the basic education of any, any, any student uh, in middle school or, or high school. Uh, and therefore when, when we're trying to apply the same kind of curriculum in, in, in this context, it actually doesn't work. Uh, students feel that they're left out, that there's so many things that they're supposed to know, but they actually don't know because they've never studied them in, in, in their schooling years. So uh, I think my textbook is particularly useful for these students because it doesn't make those assumptions. And it, uh, it teaches them in ways that they are perhaps uh, more, uh, more comfortable. And, um, and I hope that, that that's actually will be useful for, for, for many students who are in, in a similar situation as my students in Mefalong University. Well, my previous, my previous experience uh, teaching uh, in, in university has been very useful for writing this book. Uh, for many years I taught in a Catalan university, I taught literary theory. And um, literary theory is a very difficult discipline to teach, even for students who have uh, quite an extensive and broad background in liter literary studies uh, through the schooling years. Uh, it's a discipline that it can be quite intimidating because it brings uh, concepts and theories and ideas from many different fields, from sociology, uh, philosophy, um, psychology, etc. And uh, that can be uh, quite intimidating. It can be difficult. Uh, we're, we're moving at a level of, of uh, conceptual abstraction that it's, uh, is most people are not used to, um, to, to working at that level or to, to engaging in, 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 um, in thought and discussion at that, at that level of abstraction. So it, it is difficult to teach. And, and, and I had a, quite a lot of challenges uh, developing uh, uh, a syllabus and that was that, that could reach and engage students uh, in a way that the learning process was, was successful. Uh, now, when I came to Thailand, I, uh, I had to, to, to lower my expectations in some ways because, as I said, my students w didn't have that kind of, of, um, of literary background that I was assuming already in, in, in my students in, in, in a Western university. But I think my previous experience teaching literary theory was very helpful in devising a syllabus that was engaging for uh, the needs of my students uh, in, 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 in this particular context without lowering the bar. Uh, and that's very important because many, many, in, in many cases, the solution when for, for um, providing courses in, uh, in narrative theory or in other aspects of literary theory 
uh, the solutions that many instructors are forced to take is to, to actually make it easier, make it simpler, uh, lower the standard. Don't expect too much from your students and just, you know, make it uh, in a way, teach, teach, teach these difficult subjects in a way that students will be comfortable. And by doing that, actually, you're doing a very, you're not doing a favor to your students. You're just uh, making the subject easier, but not necessarily allowing them to develop a sense of the complexity, the uh, the, the richness, and the and the um, the, the whole uh, uh, broadness of the subject that 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 it's important for them to uh, to be aware of. Uh, so uh, that was my 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 biggest challenge, and I think that my my previous experience teaching literary theory in other contexts has been very useful for that. Well, if I had to choose three words to define this book, I'd say it's a narrative theory primer. It's a book, of course, about narrative. And the approach, it's not so much descriptive, but it's a theoretical approach. It provides the tools to understand how tar narratives are constructed, how they are communicated from the author to the, to the reader, and therefore it's a narrative theory or a narratological uh, book. Uh, it's also a primer. It doesn't try to get uh, into the details or the complexities, the controversies of narratological theory, but rather uh, it aims to introduce the, 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 the student into the study of those uh, difficult concepts. Well, I would hope that the reader, first of all, uh, gains uh, an understanding, an appreciation of narrative. And I stress the fact that narrative is a fundamental way in which we humans make sense of ourselves and of our world. Uh, and in that sense, prose fiction, even though it's just uh, one aspect of narrative, it's a particularly important uh, element to study how we understand each other, how we make sense of each other and of the the world uh, in which we live. So I would hope that students would understand that, but most, more than that, I would hope that they would also uh, acquire the tools to become critical readers. And not only critical readers, but also critical writers. And I think reading and writing is just two sides of the same coin. Good readers tend to be also good writers, and good writers need to be good readers. So that's why this book is useful for uh, courses that uh, focus on reading and interpreting and analyzing texts, but also on those other courses where the emphasis is on producing, on, on writing texts, like creative writing. And I think my, uh, I would hope that students would gain uh, competency in both aspects of the relationship with uh, narrative texts, uh, and also even you know going beyond those more functional um, competences, I would hope that students by engaging in in this uh, in this book would also gain a an understanding and also an appreciation of the the richness the the vastness the of 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 uh, narratives out there in the world in in world literature, and I would hope that. After reading and studying this book, um, they would also become uh, addict readers and they will want to explore other narratives and, and uh, engage even in producing their own narratives and sharing those narratives with uh, the world.